Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Kurtz. I'm with comments from the Peanut Gallery as well as the MMA Plug powered by Mile High Sports. I'm here with a very special guest today, one of the feature stars and future superstar. She is with Fight to Win. She'll be competing this weekend, Miss Jaden, the Iron Maiden Mueller. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing very well. So, Jaden, why don't you just kind of introduce yourself to the people out there, any sponsors, social media, anything along those lines that you want to get out there. Cool. Um, I'm Jaden. I'm 18. Uh, I'm from Littleton, Colorado, and I do jiu-jitsu. Uh, I compete for Fight to Win, uh, and I work for Fight to Win as well, so I travel and compete all the time. Uh, I have a couple sponsors. My sponsors are uh, Red Bowie and Robles, uh, the best CBD company and the best uh, gi and rash guard company there is. They're awesome. Um, my Instagram is uh, Jaden J A I D Y N underscore Mueller M U E L L E R. Awesome, That's awesome. My Instagram. So. so you mentioned you know you you work for the promotion. You get to tour and travel all over the country. It's kind of a crazy lifestyle, you know, just being young, being s- at such a high level, you know, already. Just what is that experience like? Being able to basically for what many people would call you're living the dream. Pretty much. I'm, I've got the dream job at such a young age, so it's crazy to be gone so much and to be traveling, but it's also just a blast. I wouldn't have it any other way. What's it like just getting to kind of, you know, soak in, like, just the culture of everywhere that you go? I mean, you, you've been to Hawaii, you've been to the East Coast, you know, you were just at Universal Studios. Like, I mean, just getting to see all of the cool things that the country has to offer, getting to do what you love, competing, and just doing jiu-jitsu. Like, what, what's that like? It's amazing. It's so cool to be able to, like, try all the food and just see all the different environments. And it's weird to see, like, how people react to each other in different places, you know? Like, some states are way more friendly and some states are way more, like, go, go, go and just very, like, different. So it's weird to see all the different environments. But it's really fun and it's really intriguing. I'm sure there's some interesting people-watching experiences from, you know, from place to place that you get to see. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I We have run into some very strange people. Yeah, I could only yeah. imagine. <laughs> so where's where's your favorite place that you've gotten to go travel to and experience? Uh, there's a couple that are on the top of my list. Hawaii is obviously, like, amazing. Hawaii is just gorgeous. Um and the environment there is just amazing because everybody there is so friendly and upbeat and just happy to be there. And so it's just got, like, a very good vibe to it. And it's, like, impossible to be in a bad mood. Um, but I also really like Philly. Philly is okay. one of my favorites for sure. Uh, the crowd there just gets super into it and everybody's upbeat and fun. And um, But the food in Philly is phenomenal. The cheesesteaks are... So I got to ask ridiculous. then, is it, is it Pat's or is it Gino's? That's like the two big ones that people always talk. I have a couple of roommates that are from Philly, so they always talk about They have this debate over the cheesesteaks. One likes one, one likes the other. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever had... I feel like I've had Pats before, but I don't know if I've had Geno's. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah. Is it cool when you're out in Philly, you know, just out there competing, you have like that rocky sort of feel, like, you know, that you're in the city where the statue is, there's the steps, all of that? For sure. Yeah. It's super, like, upbeat. <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's cool. So, on the flip side of that question, where is the, I guess, the, the least friendly place that you've had to, or the, the, I guess, the worst travel experience or city that you've had to go to? Ooh, that's a hard one. Um, I'd say one of my, it's one of my favorite places we go, but one of the worst, like, shows we've had, just from my experience, um, was one, our last uh, Phoenix show. That one was kind of weird, um, but it was just a weird transition. We'd just gotten like a new crew and there was like a lot of new people and um, it's kind of a difficult venue to set up already. So it's just, uh, that's one of, that was a weird show for us, for sure. Um, San Jose was kind of weird too. Um, we had a weird venue issue where the AC didn't work in the building we were 
building, so we built everything, and then Seth was like, take it down, and so we moved and had to tear it all down and do it again, so that was hard. <laughs> that sounds like a rough day. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what's that look like when you're doing setup for an event and everything? Like, what, what's the schedule? Like, how, how does that play out in a day's pr- time frame? So, normally we'll land, um, we try to get flights not too early, but not, like, too late in the day. Um, so we'll land like mid afternoon, uh, and we'll get to the venue. We'll start unloading the trucks, um, and then from there we're just gonna start building the quick stage and the walkout stage, and then we'll start building the frame for the actual fight stage. And then from there we'll put on all the lights on the stage, and we'll build. Uh, we have these big long boards that we have to put on the stage, uh, so we'll build the metal pieces, and then we'll build the boards lay the mats, do the trussing on top of the uh, uh, the stage, and then set up tables and chairs and finish the ticket situation and do the video wall, and you're good to go. On average, you know, what what is it? Because the sport is obviously, it's it's grown a lot. What, what would you say, you know, in terms of attendance, like with Fight to Win being a big promotion that travels now, what are you guys typically bringing in? Like, it, you know, is it a big crowd in every city or some cities a little bit more hit or miss? What's that look like? Some cities are definitely a little bit more hit or miss, but normally we have a pretty good sized crowd. Uh, I would say Philly, we always have a big crowd. Hawaii, we always have a big crowd. Uh, San Diego, we normally have a pretty good sized crowd. Um, but it can be anywhere from like, 700 people to 1,500 people. Like, you just don't really know until the event. So you mentioned you're, you're only 18. When did you come to realize that, you know, that this is what you wanted to do or this was what, you're, what you wanted to dedicate your life toward and that's what your path was? Uh, I knew when I was, like, really young that I wanted to do martial arts. I started in uh, kar- uh, Taekwondo. That's where I started. Um, and then I did... Kempo Karate, and I got my third degree black belt in Kempo, and then I started training at Factory X on the fight team for a long time, and that's, like, when I decided, like, I really want to do this, and I want to get in the UFC, and I just had a lot of big goals and big dreams, and then I decided I didn't like getting punched in the face that much after a few years, (laughs) Um, and then I just decided I wanted to just do jiu-jitsu, and so it's always been, like, martial arts has always been a big part of my life, and so now it's... uh, a couple years ago, I decided I just wanted to do strictly jiu-jitsu, and so I decided to just train. And so I went to Katharo, and I started training at Katharo, um, and I just wanted to get really good at jiu-jitsu. Nice. Who have been some of your major influences throughout your training career? Um, all of my coaches. Uh, I think uh, some of the biggest inspirations to me have... One of them was always Mark. I always really looked up to Mark Montoya. Um, my coach right now, Steve Hordinsky, uh, he's been a very big part of my jiu-jitsu, and he's been a big part of the reason why I've grown so much over the past few months. Um, and I definitely think some of my training partners have been a really big inspiration and really big help. Um, Jordan Tatoni and Brandon Royval um, and Yusuf Zalal, they've all really helped me ever since I was a kid, and they've just really took me under their wing and helped me when I needed it and they've been huge inspirations to me um, and I've always really looked up to them um, and so it's just been really cool to have them all support me so much throughout the years and watch me grow. That's awesome, that's awesome. Yeah. So you're kind of known for you know having some fun with the weigh-in process, your entrances, walking out. What can we expect this weekend? This weekend will be the best walkout you've ever seen in your life. Okay. It's a secret, and I can't let it out, but... Okay, so it is It is something big. Though. It's something big. Okay. It's got a lot of pieces to it. It's a lot of fun. It's upbeat. I spent uh, $206 on it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going you're gonna to see a lot of fun okay. on stage. Okay. So what are some of, just for the people who may not know, what are some of, like, the highlighted, you know, walkouts or, you know, things that you've done in the past? Um, there's been a few that I really enjoyed. I did uh, one from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and I did the Dayman music video. <laughs> that is so awesome. And so I played Dayman on the screen, and me and, uh, 
my, the guy that was coaching me, Dan, we walked out on the stage and we were doing karate and it was like, it was really fun. Yeah. Um, and then once I made it rain with some money that I printed my face on, so that one was fun. I walked <laughs> out to Gwen Stefani's Rich Girl. Okay. Uh, just, I just like to have fun. Those were probably two of my favorites though, for sure. Gotcha. You have a thing for Twister. Tell us about that. So, one day, uh, me and my boss, Missy, we flew out to Philly a day early. Um, and we were at the gas station just getting some snacks for the night. And this guy walks up to us, and he was like, hey, ladies. <laughs> and we were just like, hi. And he's like, what you girls about to get into? And we were like oh, we're just chilling. He's like, you guys having a slumber party? You guys going to play some Twister? And we were like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we're definitely going to go play Twister. And he's like, you're lying. We were like, no, we're not. And so then immediately after, we drove to go buy Twister at the uh, at Target. Okay. And it just kind of all started off as a joke. Um, and we were going to play it in the lobby that night. And then the next day at the Fight to Win event, Gary Tonin walked in and looked at us and he was like, hey ladies, you want to go play Twister? Because I'd posted it on my uh, Instagram that like night and I told the story. And I was like, this is actually like pretty funny. Like I should try to play Twister with him. Yeah. Um, and so I just started calling out like the big names on the card and I was like, I challenge you to a game of Twister. And it all just kind of started off as a joke and then people started accepting it and people started like taking it seriously. And... Uh, so I just try to play Twister with everyone. So I've played with um, Gary Tonin. I've played with AJ Agazarm. Um, I've played with uh, I played with Eric Sains in the last Denver event. I played with Jake Watson. Um, I just play with a lot of cool people. It's a lot of fun. That's I have a so game cool. pending with Josh Hinger, but he's dodged me the last couple of events. So. Poo, 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 shots fired. <laughs> that's awesome, though. I mean, that, that's so cool that you get to have some of these experiences, you know, with just some of the, the who's who within the jiu-jitsu community, community out there. You know, for I mean, sure. like, for someone out there who follows, you know, follows jiu-jitsu at all, like, to say, like, oh, yeah, like, you've gone and played Twister with Gary Tonin. Like, that's, like, one of the best guys in the world who's also having a lot of success translating over into the MMA world. For sure. Like, that, that's so cool. That's awesome. It's a really cool way, too, to, like, befriend them and, like, get to know them on, like, a different level. Because um, when you work for the promotion, it's obviously, like, you're already, like, getting to know these guys a little better. Um, but it's kind of weird. I, I feel weird every time I walk up and I'm like, hi, I'm Jaden, and I just, like, act all fangirly because, like, I don't yeah. want them to, like, think I'm a fangirl. I just want to, like, talk to them. <laughs> you gotta act like you belong, right? Yeah. You know. And so it's kind of fun to just be like, hey, let's play Twister. Yeah. And it's just like, you just kind of hit it off while you're playing Twister and it's a little easier than <laughs> having to like yeah, introduce yeah. yourself. <laughs> it, I mean, it's a pretty cool icebreaker. For sure. Because then at that point, you know, I mean, any sort of little barriers are already completely broken down once you're playing Twister like that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's cool because like, Jiu-jitsu people are really good at Twister, you know, because we're all flexible and we're all just, like, weird, and so it's cool. It's Some of the, vi like, just watching the videos, like, wow, like, there was plenty of times where, we you know, when I saw, like, especially the video with him, like, someone's going to fall, like, at any given second, but it's like, no, like, how? Like, the, just the body <laughs> control and the dynamics are incredible. Yeah. It's like athleticism, but it's fine this it really is. I know. It, de it definitely is. Like, the balance and the coordination of that. Like, wow. That's impressive. Yeah. So, Jaden, where can people get tickets? Where, where can people, you know, check you out this weekend? Um, so, my fight will be at the National Western Complex. Uh, and it'll... The event starts at 5. Since I have a title fight, it'll probably be a little later in the night. Um, I don't know when yet, though. Seth needs to release the schedule still. Um, but you can buy your tickets at fighttowinticks.com uh, or hit me up through DM or something and I can bring you some hard copy tickets. Awesome. And what is that social media again? Uh, Jaden underscore Mueller. Awesome. And just to tie things up here, this is the comments from the peanut gallery. I am Jordan Kurtz, also the MMA plug powered by Mile High Sports. Thank you guys so much for following us along. You can check this out at www.milehighsports.com slash MMA. Be looking out for the link. Have a great day, folks.